it equals almost 15 million people in Florida that are in these counties of our state population of 20,000. That is 75% of Florida's total state population wants a ban on fracking. We also need me very much. I'm the Water and Wetlands Chair for Madison Garden Club. Okay. And I have contacted and talked extensively with Lucille Conrick with your Swanee County Garden Club. Okay. And they will help you get this passed. They have, uh, this is our stand. We need to get some real briefs. This is very important. Okay. Thank you. St. John Sierra Club, and the Sierra Club is here because we represent Hamilton, Baker, Suwannee County, down to Marion County, Levy, and I would like to present you with this letter that was written by the Marion County Board of Commissioners to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and the letter is really very specific about what they want to know, because the civil trade documentation doesn't really say much about what they are really going to do. So okay. please, we need your help. Thank you. Thank you. And that's representative Lucy. Yes. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right, Deborah. Um, I'm Deborah Johnson. I'm a board member of uh, Spectre Busters. We've been uh, opposing the pipeline for three years now. Um, and I'm a uh, member of WISE. Okay, and I'm Kerry Walden. I grew up in Hamilton County, lived in Swanee County, and I'm the administrator of the Department of Health in the Swanee and Lafayette County. I'm Jerry Bullard. I'm here to uh, learn more information about the pipeline and uh, kind of network with some of the folks here. So it's good to see you all here and the interest in that. I've got an interest in our environment and our, our rivers, of course, and I'm our aquifer, of course. Good to be here. Good to see Candidate you. too, right? Candidate for House District 10. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy? Nancy Hall. 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 Oh, I didn't know what to do. I'm Nancy Crop. I live on the Swanee River in uh, Hampton County, and I'm very much concerned about the pipeline and the effects it's going to have on the river and the water aquifer in our state. I'm Vicki Perron, and I live in O'Brien, Florida, and um, the compressor station is going like uh, half a mile behind my house, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of sinkholes that we're very concerned about because um, I think it'll be a complete disaster, and I have a, a security company that's right there in that area, and many, many homes, and I represent everybody there. Mm -hmm. I'm Noah Valenstein with Swanee River Water Management. I'm Keith Hughes. I'm the bus driver. <laughs> I'm Kimberly Williams. I coordinate the Clean Water Network, which is a network of local watership groups across the country and based in Washington, D.C. Happy to be here. Hey, I'm uh, Jennifer Biello. I'm the Director for Environment Florida. We're a statewide citizen-funded uh, environmental advocacy group. So really, really feel to be here. And thank you, Congressman, for being here. Okay, we're going to go over I'm Dora Durbin, as my wife Jean, and we keep along to every club there is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jean Derrick, we're along with Sierra, Wallace, Dr. Buster, <laughs> Greenpeace. I'm trying to everything. get all of them. I'm right, my heart is into this. I'm going right against this pipeline and the environmental issues that's going to cause in our water that we're going to Thank you for being here. I'm Shannon Morrison, and I'm with Ancient Trees, and I came up from Placid Lake, Florida, to be here to support Chris and all of the others that are working so hard to stop this project. It, it's not, it should be, it must be. Um, it's hydraulic, hydraulic horizontal drilling that we're going to do will be devastating, absolutely devastating, and we can't let it happen, so that's why I'm here. Where do you come from? Placid Lake, Florida. I'm on Bobby C. Billy, 
I'm an independent Sufis in Mongolian nation, and I'm reaching all people. I'm a spiritual leader, and I'm one of the clan leaders. And our people are always concerned about the future generation. And the way that our elders taught us, uh, the God's gift will disappear. All we all, we all going to disappear. So that's what we see the entire world happening. So we're trying to educate people. Let's say something what the God had gave us to pass it on to the next generation. So that's our, our mission is. Thank you. Thank you. Me? I'm Ted Yoho. I represent Florida's 3rd Congressional District. These are my days off clothes. And I appreciate the opportunity to come up here. And I appreciate the passion you guys have. I mean, Chris, you reached out to us right after I got elected. Mary Helen, you kept us informed. And... You know, we're all concerned about the environment, obviously. I live on a well water, and I want clean water, and I want clean air, just like we all do. And we've seen, you know, I grew up, I'm 61, I was born in 55. We've seen bad pollution, and we've seen the effects of good policies to correct those things. And <clears throat> I think we're all in agreement, as you brought up, we're at 20 million people in our state now. We're growing to 30 million people in the next 15 to 20 years. But we can't plan on 30 million people. We need to plan on 50 to 60 million people and do the things that we have to do today. And I, I was lucky or fortunate to go on a trip to South America. And in South America, we went to Chile, Argentina, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Costa Rica. That wasn't really in South America. That was Central America. But the thing that amazed me was in Paraguay, they have a hydroelectric dam that supplies 70% of the electricity for that country. 70% of the electricity that this generation is living on and benefiting from. <coughs> and it was because of the decisions they made 50 or 60 years ago. That's where we are today. That's what it is today about. We are going to need more energy. Where are you going to get the energy? Those are the things that we have to make the decision. So when we do these things, we need to make sure we do them right. You know, and you guys have been great advocates against the trail coming through here, and I understand that, and I hear you. I represent you guys. I don't represent Spectre. You know, and if your concerns, and my concerns too are, is when you drill under a riverbed, even though they can tell me it's not going to cause a problem, I don't know what's under there. And my concern is like yours. You drill through there, and if you hit a karst or you hit a, you know, close to one of those um, um, shoots going down in the lime rock, what happens if you hit the wrong one? That's my concern, as yours is. And yes, I want the energy, but is there a better way to bring it in? And, you know, I don't know if you guys know, there's two solar farms that are going in in north central Florida, one in Columbia County, one in Alachua County, that's 150 megawatts of solar power. What in Leon? One in Leon. Um, there's something you know, and, and those are great supplementals. They aren't going to be baseline energy projects. You know, nuclear, we've got four plants in Levy County, nuclear plants that have been permitted, but they'll probably never be built. So if we're going and we're going to increase, and I'm taking up too much time, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just saying. So you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm glad to be here, and I look forward to going on the trip. <laughs> but the, the thing is, we're setting... This generation here is setting or making decisions that's going to affect Florida for 50, 60, 100 years. Let's get it right, and I'll work Let's with you. Right. Yeah. yeah, thank you. 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 Thank you.